I appreciate your parents as, <laughs> as they are instrumental in your birth. No, I actually and appreciate your patience, not your parents. That was a bit of a tongue slip. I appreciate your patience as you await the start of Chess with TV. Uh, your parents, I don't really appreciate your parents. They're not even watching right now. With the exception of your parents, which you don't even know they're watching. So that's kind of embarrassing. I'm glad you're here joining us today. We're going to have an excellent time playing chess, which is kind of the point. At least I'm going to. You might not, because if you're playing against me, you're going to lose. And I have learned something about people. They like winning. Like, seriously, winning is... Let's check the chess right here. Okay, all scrambled up. Perfect. Um, winning is so much more popular than losing. So much more popular than losing among humans. In fact, I taught a new game to an, a fellow human last night. And it's a game maybe you've heard of. It's called St. Petersburg. You probably haven't heard of it, but it's a board game where you try to get the most victory points. Pretty unique idea. And whoever has the most victory points at the end of the game gets the victory. Well, he got the most victory points at the end of the game. And what do you know? He said, what a great game at the end of the game, or some such thing, some equivalent thing. He said, uh, "He said, what a great game. I really like this game. And, and then it dawned on me afterward, he liked it because he won, but it's so true. That's just the way people are. They like things when they win. So maybe I should just let you win so that you'll enjoy this show better. I don't think so, because for most people, they're not you. And so they want me to win because they're watching me. Let's check the camera. Oh, chess whiz, you're looking so dashing today. It's really fantastic. Really, really fantastic looking today. Wow, you really look good. In fact, I'm just dazzled. I'm bedazzled by your presence. It's kind of awkward since I also am my own presence. Svlav so wants to point out that there are more winners than losers. Losers than winners, I mean. That's what makes winning so special. There's a lot of losers. I play the game Pandemic, where everybody wins. <laughs> it's so boring. Because, like, oh, everybody wins. This is completely meaningless. Welcome, welcome, everyone, to Jasmine's TV episode 200. I have to start over. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Chess with TV episode 315. Today is December 10th, 2016, coming up on the end of the year. Today we're going to do something that almost doesn't even matter. We're going to play chess left-handed. Okay, it really doesn't matter. So I've got my cool mouse on the right hand. Take a look at this mouse. If you haven't seen it before, you're going to be amazed. It looks like it's falling apart, but that's only because it's falling apart. It's also super gross. I invited one of my friends to, um, to use it the other day, and suddenly I had one fewer friends. But what I'm going to do is move this over to the left side of myself, which might look like the right side, depending on whether the, the webcam is flipping the camera right now. And then I'm going to play chess on the left side. It's going to make no sense to anyone, including me. Probably you won't even notice a difference in the quality of my chess, but it may be that I can't really handle moving the pieces with the left hand. Let's play chess right now. So I don't really know if this is going to be stupid or not, but let's click this button and see what happens. 3 Blitz. Let's, this is a new interface where you just click a thing and you get a thing. So I'm playing someone who's slightly higher rated than I am. It's very difficult, though. I'm going to play e5. Whoa, this is weird. Hmm. There's nothing I can do but play the Latvian Gambit here because it's on the left side of the chessboard for me. So this would be a perfect move for me right now. Mm -hmm. So this isn't a normal move. Usually, let's see if I can draw arrows. Usually the opponent plays one of these two moves because I've just hung two pawns and I guess I've caused a brain overload. He's like, what do I do? I guess I shouldn't take either. Wrong. He should have taken one of those pawns, but now that I've defended one and the other is nicely uh, discovered, defended by the bishop, so I'm actually really happy about this position. I think I could take this now and then fork him in the face. Is there any problem with that? No, it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh, yikes. Now I can take a knight for free. I'm not even sure what I should do, but I'll probably take a knight for free. Hmm. My left hand is pretty good at chess. I have made like six chess moves. I'm already winning by a piece. Now I'll take this for free. Is there any reason not to? I don't think so. 
Forking two more pieces. Have you ever seen a chess game this dominated by the left hand? No. Normal left-handed players are like, hmm, knight c6. Oh no, I'm losing. Rui Lopez, I don't even know what to do. Okay, so I play a play here because I'm still forking him. Now I'm attacking his queen, his rook, and his knight all at the same time. None of them are guarded, not even his queen. So I take that queen. He's like, no, I can't even get a pawn for this queen. This is so bad, but only for him. It's so good for me because I'm the winner. Oh, this feels great. So apparently left Left-handed is, is a very, very good way to play chess. You should try it. If you're already left-handed, though, then, uh, then you'll win. So we're going to try cranking up the time control after this. Um, right now, three minutes per side, I have plenty of time to, to mouse wrong. But uh, when, we, when we play faster chess, I might have a hard time moving the pieces around. So we'll see how that goes. And you can try this as well. Maybe I should play against one of you viewers and you play left hand. And we'll see if we can either even uh, move the pieces at all. I named the title weak hand of the episode. No, I named the episode. You know that little trick where you don't name the episode, you name the title of the episode? I don't know that trick either. But anyway, the title of the episode is named weak hand. And there's two reasons for that. One is if you're already left handed, you can't just keep using that. That's your dominant hand. You have to use your weak hand which is your non-dominant hand. That's the rule. Ding, ding, gognito is just losing here. He's just, he's like, no, I was use all my time. He was, he's so dominated by my non-dominated hand. But the other reason I call this episode weak hand is a little more subtle. Kind of like that subtle movement I did there. The reason is that in the board game Go, one hand is called is it one move is called a hand the literal translation to english um if you go is like chess where you think a while and then you make a move okay and one move is called a hand so if you make a bad move that's called a weak hand and so i've actually named the episode after making a bad move the opponent has left the game <laughs> great job dig ding cognito great job I think I will claim victory with my left hand. Oh, that just feels great. Oh, I, I love winning. This is great. Okay, so now let's play a slightly faster game. Is this faster over here? Two plus one? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. So this is this new grade that just came out on Lee Chess. You don't have to think. You just click and then bam, you got a chess game. Then you don't have to think. You just click some more. So let's see if we can get a game right here. I bet this is one of the less popular ones. Let's jump over to the lobby and take a look. Ooh, so the lobby is still here. That's nice. And then there's the correspondence lobby if you like sleeping in between your moves. It looks like people like atomic correspondence chess so that they can give their computers longer to think about their their atomic moves. We're playing Lexman 661 with a left hand. Oh, knight c3. I like this close Sicilian because I, I'm more comfortable with it with this, this f4 move. I, I like it. Most people, of course, play knight f3 first, blocking their f-pawn here, and then they play d4. Hmm, I don't know what to do with this bishop. I don't think I should put it here because it would uh, do bad things. So uh, not quite exactly like that arrow, but something similar. Maybe I should play d4 now. He's just, okay, okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. Exciting. Should I just uh, defend that with bishop e3? Sure. I'm not a great chess player. I already don't know what I'm doing. And I've just started the game. So if you want to get better at chess, you should probably watch somebody who knows what they're doing, but I don't know what I'm doing, so that's fine. You can watch me because I'm playing with my left hand. It's a pretty good reason. I don't think I want to not take that knot with my bishop, so I'm going to play here because that uh, preserves my bishop. Bishops are really good uh, because they move diagonally. Knights can't do that, so that's why I preserve my bishop. Now, in this position, I'm really thinking about e5 because, uh, because it's on my screen. But also, if I take then this pawn just feels stupid. And I don't like them to do that to my pawns. I want them to feel intelligent and valued, not stupid. So even when they are stupid, I tell them things like, you're a great pawn. You're my favorite pawn. And as long as the other pawns aren't listening, it works fine. I found that if they are listening, then it's actually kind of an insult because they're like, why is he telling you that pawn that I, he told me that I was his favorite. And then they get all feeling bad. Okay. I need to play faster. Um, if I take this knight, that's not a cool tactic at all. My B pawn is hanging. <clears throat> Should I play knight a4? Sure. Because it's only kind of bad. I'm expected queen b4, and then I can play c3. Left-handed chess is pretty difficult. Oh. 
Um, okay, okay. So I've got everything growing, going great here. Let's just king. Let's move my king over. <laughs> I don't know why it, it, I was clicking it, so I thought I should move it. I mean, why, why, why click it if you're not going to move it? It's kind of a waste. <clears throat> so my knight is too super trapped over there. I guess I'll get it out of the way. Maybe, maybe this move. I don't know what I'm doing, and that's that's a kind of a problem. Let's play here. Because now I've got b6 and I've got c5. This knight's going to go some, some cool places. Like there. That's that's nice. Okay, 37 seconds. I need to play faster. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you're so fast, man. You're like speedy and fast. At least fast and speedy. I, I don't want to lose that bishop. Oh, 26 seconds. I need to play. Oh, this is going to be so bad. How can I play fast with this awful amb ambidextrous sausity? I don't know. I can move that night away. G4. Free move here. Ah, oh, okay. Rook G1. I'm going to try to like attack him and stuff. Okay, here. No, I'll just close this up. I'll just make this awful shape. Why not? Yeah, I know you can do that. I'll take it someday. Maybe h4, h5 would be good. Oh, I'll take this now. I can't stand it any longer. Okay, it's going to be two bishops, and I'm going to have a bishop and a bishop. Okay, if he takes with that. Oh, whoa, wow. Okay, I'm going to take this now. And now that was an interesting exchange. Now I've got a big, what's going on with my king? Because his bishop can come out, and that's not what I want. So oh, I almost got my king stuck in that diagonal. This is stressful. 12 seconds, and I can hardly move my pieces, literally. Let's get my rooks going on the same file here. Maybe I should just play f5, though. Ooh, f6. Um, okay, I'll take that. And then I'll play here. I'll just, yeah, I'll take that as well. And then I'll play here. Switch over to this file. Put everything on the e file. Why not? Yeah. His e pawn is pretty weak. So, okay, so we're, we're dying for sure now. That's quite an attack. I'll play here. That's a really nice attack he's got going. Good. Um, he, he's moving his queen. Now he's got a super discover check, check, checkmate. Oh no, what are we doing? Help, help, two seconds, I can't move. Oh. I'm totally alive here. I, the problem is I can't move in three seconds. I physically can't move in three seconds. He has another amazing discover checkmate. I think I got some survivorship here. Oh, queen h4. No, he, he missed it. Now he's got queen h4. I'm going to have to run this way. Oh. 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 Okay, so I just noticed, just when I was like, oh no, I can't move my king. I have to block this. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I could take that queen for free. But I can't really because I'm playing left-handed today and I'm not actually left-handed. So that's super, super hard to play this move in one second. So I actually just kind of ran out of time. That was sad. So we're going to take this challenge from Roman, also known as Roman Chess Master. Roman, you have to play with your non-dominant hand. So let's tell him that. You must move with your non-dominant hand. Pretty much what that says. I should have won that game. After I took his queen, I would have um, probably still lost on time because it's not physically possible for me to make that move that fast with my pawn, with my mouse, whatever. Double king pawn. I'm going to play some more lap game gambit. Yes, this is the best. this is the best gambit right here. I don't know how to move, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got, let me show you what I'm doing. Like, I can't move my hand like this because it's not used to doing that. So instead, I'm just kind of rotating my mouse. So I, I click on the mouse, the, the pawn, and then I go like this. And that kind of moves the pawn upward where I want it to go. This should be interesting. 96. Try it. Try 96. Mm -hmm. Here. I have queen h5 check, I might have ugliness in my face. Uh, so, I, he, um, Okay, I'm going to allow my center to become super ugly. 
in this fashion because it allows me to recapture the f-pawn. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. It's not good. It's not good because I invented it myself. Most things that are good, actually, I just learn from other people. And then if I'm like, okay, I need to be creative now. Let's, let's do something really smart. Then it's very, very difficult to come up with something brilliant. And usually it's just awful. Um, and that's, that's why you should learn from other people. Hmm. I, I invented that move though. Taking a free knight. Hopefully it's okay. Surprised you with that, hopefully. Take that. Okay, I'm ahead by a knight. Roman. This is good. I man, yo, move back. Oops, I can't take. Why can't he take his move back? It, the button's right there. I can't take. Oops, I man, yo, move back. Yap. I'll spell yeah. It's kind of a cross between yep and yeah. It's kind of like yap. That's what I meant to say. Feeling good about this chess game now that I'm winning by so much. Left-handed play, very difficult. Some people are actually uh, what they call amphibious, which means they can breathe underwater. They have no problem playing this way because amphibious people can use their left hands to play chess. It's what it says in the dictionary. It's like, it's right next to ambidextrous. It's like, can use left hand to play chess. It's really impressive. I'm not one of those people. Let's just attack this. Hmm. I missed you guys last week or last episode, last thing. Whoa, cool move, bro. What do I do now? Oh, besides just sit here and run out of time, you're attacking my thing that's pinned while checking me. If I take your knight, then that's cheating. Huh, what do I do? Well, if I move into discover check, I will get owned. Is that good? Probably not. I don't think I should get owned. That would be bad, so let's not do that. Okay. My thought processes are just 100% genius. 100%. There's no 50% genius over here. Just go here. And then I'll be playing King C7. Looking good. I'm still up a piece. I just blundered on the king side and lost a pawn. Nothing serious. That was not my favorite pawn. Mm, I'm really tied down by his bishop, so let's just attack his bishop. See if he wants to trade. Seeing as he has no option because he can't move to any of these squares, then he has to trade. Let's not mention this square. It's it's a it's an awful one. I, I would yeah. Don't don't think about it. It's bad. Okay. My knight, should it go on a wandering adventure? No, yes, it should go to e5. This isn't too exciting for me. Don't get skewered. Can't get skewered. This isn't too exciting. It's very calming. Yeah, there was a, there was an illness caused me to miss an episode. That's why the YouTube channel missed an episode and the Twitch channel used an episode missed. Everything missed an episode. There was an illness. But don't worry. I've been anti-illed now. It's much better. So this move, nine seconds. I need to move faster and I'm left-handed. Can I do it? Yes. I'm doing it. Oh, this is exciting. Can I just checkmate him? I wonder if I can, oh, I should take this. Now, push your pawn, do it, yes, okay, I can win this, four seconds, faster, faster, chess whiz, oh, how do you move, how do you move in this game, oh, oh okay, I've got all the ingredients for winning, such as pawns and things, it's good ingredients right there, so I just need to move, oh, my king, come on, oh, this is like a, a, very, a very difficult challenge for me, it's kind of like the Rubik's Cube, except it's 7 by 7 by 7, and I only get one minute to do it, that's what it feels like to me right now, okay, here we go, um, promote this one, it's going to be easier, oh, come on, come on, pawn, do your thing, oh, <laughs> pawn to A0, okay, now you're going to do this thing, this is a great way to checkmate, where you just move your ladders, like a ladder, just the way ladders move, like this. See, each time you take over a file, you smile gently, and then at the last moment, you smile like the Cheshire Cat. Because it's checkmate. Checkmate starts with Ch, just like Cheshire. Good game. 
and GG. That was great. So now we're going to actually play some super fast chess um, with the left hand. We're going to see if the viewership can keep up with me. So I'm going to add a, a challenge to the chat right now. We're going to actually throw this out in the chat and we're going to play against another left hand viewer in a, a one minute chess game and we'll see who can slam out their pieces faster. Uh, so one minute rated because we just love playing rated chess. And here's a link. So get ready for left-handed battles or, or ambidextrously wrong-handed battles, if you know what I mean. Anyone who wants to play, join in right now. The challenge has been accepted by none other than Kazare. Kazare, I'm so glad you joined because otherwise I'd be sitting here like a doofus, feeling unpopular. Are you ready? And then let's type in the chat, you may only, you may only, only use your non-dominant hand for chess. The other hand may be used for eating. There we go. That's like halfway, forgot my parentheses, and halfway like I'm a smiley face with no eyes. So both of those are pretty good. Are you ready? I'm ready. One minute. Okay, I gotta be super fast. See how I'm like rotating, rotating for my moves? I can't, oh, I'm gonna play this pan of bot attack because it takes a long time to say. Knight C3, moving my nails over here. This is really challenging. I recommend you find a friend um, and try this with them. You need two computers to do it, so you have to find a rich friend who has a bunch of computers. But once you've got that, you should try this. And it's no fair to do it on your phone because left-handed moving like on a touch screen is not nearly as challenging as actually using a real mouse. This is the challenge right here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna trap that bishop over here like this because why not push it out of the way like a bully? Why not? Bully actually means like it's like uh, a great thing, I think. It's slang for bully, which means like I'm, I'm happy about that. So that's why I did that. Let's pin this over here. Okay, he's gonna run out of time. He can't move fast enough. As you can see, he's used only 24 seconds left. So let's just pre-move a bunch of moves. Um, that's not a pre-move, so I'm gonna throw this move out here, which is a pre-move. And then uh, I don't know what I'll do, so maybe just uh, pre-move taking his queen for free, that might work. Um, it didn't, but that's okay because I can take this knight for free instead. Now let's pre-move this move. <laughs> you can see the mouse jerking around on the screen like a fish, a jerky fish, of course, because it's just struggling so much. I'm, whoa, what's going on? Good, he's confused. Checkmate, checkmate to your clock, GG. That was exciting. I'm going to do this again, maybe with a different person because, um, because I want to give everyone a chance to play. So maybe with the same person, if Kazar Kazar Wii, whatever your name was, if you click this link again, you can play again. Here we go. Russian people always write smileys without eyes, according to the chat. You want to know why that is? Why do Russian people write smileys without eyes? The obvious answer is they're in too much of a hurry because they're Russian. Here we go. E4. I'm trusting that Dusik here is going to obey the law. Uh, of non-dominance. If he doesn't, I don't have time to type it because the game has already started. So let's play another Panov Botvinik, Panov, and then see if he uh, cheats. Oh, he's pretty fast now, but that could be just because he's so good with his left hand. That could be okay. So bishop e2, bishop d3. I changed it in the time it took me to mouse over there. I changed my mind on what I was going to do. That's the nice thing about moving slowly. There is actually a saying: um, if you see a good move, then you should sit on your hands and look for a better one. And the reason is people do play the best move they see right away when it looks good, and it's good to wait a little while unless you're playing one-minute chess and look for a better move. It's, it's actually great advice. However, in this case, just sit on your left hand. That will have the same effect. Bishop back. Queen um, d3 and bishop d bishop c2, and then I'm going to just win. Here's my strat. I'm going to checkmate him. Watch it work. I do have to put the bishop like, oh no, oh no. Can my knight go here safely? I think so. This is actually a progress on my strat here because once that thing is gone, um, I'll take this one right now. 28 seconds each. I need to play faster. Let's take that with the rook. Okay, so everything's well defended. Now I play queen d3 and then bam, queen h7 check me. Here it comes. Oh, I'm blocked, stopped, and... I'm, I'm constipated right now. That's what it feels like. Rook g4, didn't expect. And then queen e4, he will definitely be checkmated by this move. He's going to play knight e7. He's running out of time trying to, trying to not get checkmated. Oh yeah, I can play queen e4 anyway. Watch me sacrifice the exchange because I forgot about this part. 
Oh no, what am I doing? Taking a queen? Nope. Oh, this is exciting. He has six seconds. I'm excited. You're probably just staring at this like, this is so stupid. But you know what? It, it matters that what I think because I'm me. You're not actually me. So does it really matter? I don't think so. Check. Mate to your clock. Okay, so we've learned that nobody can make, make enough moves in one minute. They're just going to lose on time. But that was, that was fun. Because uh, Kazura Ray is, is complaining that his mouse is like a, sh a right handy shape. And you know what? If you think your mouse is a right handy shape, take a look at this thing. Like, this is my mouse that I'm using here. And this area right here, guess what it's for? No, it's not for the pinky. It's for the thumb. So when I use my mouse left handed, I have to use it like this. It's, this is why I'm having such a hard time. Like, I'm, I can move my mouse to the right just fine like this. But when I need to move it to the left, I actually have to hold my thumb down really, really tightly just to get enough friction to move that mouse to the left. And when I want to click, I just stare at this until the light bouncing from the sun bounces off my eyes into this mouse button and pushes it because um, photons do have a slight amount of mass. That's how I'm able to click. So you think your right-handed mouse is hard to use left hand? You just imagine me doing this and still beating you. That is what happened on the show. I think we have time for one more game, so let's play with another friend. I have tons of friends. Let's see who's going to join this time. Copy. Paste. Do sick in the chat. Thank you, Grohar, for that game. Grohar is a great name because it's a combination between becoming larger and laughing. Which are two of my favorite things to do. That's why I like eating, because it makes me grow. Okay, have fun. Good luck, says Roman. Left hand only, unless that's easy. Winking face. I'm not Russian, so I had time for that. Okay, so I'm going to play another super crazy this is a great opening. <laughs> Laughing and Gambit's good. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, now you can see it. Okay, so E4. I guess it's more important for you to see the chessboard than my face. It's hard to imagine that you would rather see a chessboard than the face of the whiz, but it's for some reason that's the current situation. You prefer the chessboard. Oh, no, I have to play King E7. He's going to run out of time. It doesn't matter. I got some big trouble here. I think I, I made a mistake, perhaps. <laughs> But it was a great move, King E7, because that blocks my queen from becoming in danger. You know how in the opening you don't want your queen to get into any danger or anything? Yeah, I did that with my with my king up. Brilliant move. Brilliant move. Okay. Now I've got to play here. He's going to play F3, maybe? No? Uh, I'll play here. 30 seconds, queen up. I've got queen takes f5, offering a queen trade, which would relieve me significantly. Okay, so he might have a checkmate here, but I don't think he does. I can run into the center like a genius. Oh, chess whiz. Is this spike chess? I hope it is. That's a slang for uh, king of the hill. I'm the only one who uses that word to mean king of the hill. Oh, nice move. I have to hide here. Okay. I'm doing great now. Queen eight f five. This queen is is doing things. Mm. Mm. Let's play. Oh, that's pin. Okay. Mm. Let's play here. I've got ten seconds now. That probably wasn't a good time to take a long think, but attack the queen. I really don't want him to play rookie one, so that's my I leave my bishop out there. He goes for the sacrifice. Take take take. Knight takes threatening checkmate on it. C two, I think that is. Could be f two or maybe w two. But here comes the rook moving out. It's not even checkmate because the bishop guards it. I don't care. And queen check check checkmate to the clock. Three checkmates to the clock, guys, guys and and ladies also. Uh, there's zero of you, but so that's in the plural. Ladies, I see there's a checkmate to this clock. <laughs> Yes! Yes, I win again. So I'd like to play one more game because I'm just on a winning streak and I like winning. Normally the episode would end right now, but not when Chesviz is winning. So let's play. You know what? Let's do. Oh, who cares about one minute chess? Cancel that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Where's the cancel button? Cancel, the cancel, the cancel. New opponent. No. Old opponent. Lie chess. I call it lie chess when I'm feeling deceived because it doesn't tell you the truth. Let's play 30 second chess right now. Is it possible? I think we're in overtime right now. Who's going to play 30-second left-handed chess against the Wiz? This is basically just make moves as fast as you can. It's none other than Meta Margo. You must move only with your left hand, unless that's easy. Winking face, and I've got to put two mouths on that in order to be grammatically correct. You just have to imagine that one of the mouths is actually grammar, and the other one is my face. Okay, now that I've lubricated the throat, I'm ready. Okay, so left-handed chess. Yes. 
Yes, especially you. <laughs> like, yes, yes. I know that it looks like some kind of, um, oh, I don't even know what that looks like. It's probably rated R though. E4, D4, C3, take, no, push, and then push. And oh, no, yes, I've got some pretty good pre-moves on the board here. Now bring this around. I can just pre-move this. Oh yes, I saved my queen. Now, do you know this move? Yeah, how often do you get to save your queen? Like a move three, that was great. It's move six, because I'm so fast. It just feels like move three. Oh no, oh yeah, I have to take this. Oh, 20 seconds, take this. Now take this, now take, nope, he's gonna guard his stuff, so let's play bishop here, and then come out for the checkmate. No, I lost my queen, that's no good, that's okay. I don't, I don't need queens to win. I'll just play king over. Oh, I'm doing good on the clock though, that's what's important. Okay, let's let's pawn storm on the queen side here. Check, b4, b5, b4. I gotta play b4 first, and then b5. Here it comes, I can play my knight in. Oh, I lost my pawn, no, I'm kicking his knight. Now, bam, oh no, it's a, a yes, I can play this move. Now, okay, I'm gonna bring my knight here. I, this is a pretty good royal fork right here. I guess I'll play that and then continue thinking. And then king h1, oh no, I forgot to take the queen. That could be a problem. Never forget to take the queen. I'm blundering my bishop for a moment here. Now I'm unblundering it, that's a good strategy, unblundering. Oh, and there's another free queen. This time I'm going for it. Now bishop h5. Oh, the clock. Okay, so I got a pre-move losing my bishop. No, I got to take this. And now I'm going to play rook here. And now I'm going to check him. And then I'm going to uh, move here. This is good. This is really good. Winner. Okay, so the, the high quality chess was made up for by the high quality commentary. I enjoyed that. He says, LOL, this is impossible. You guys should try this with your friends while you still have them. Because actually they're going to, they're going to, um, that is <laughs> really funny. I don't know why you have to type this really funny. Do I look bored right now? I'm not bored. I'm going to go into another overtime play another game um, with another friend. I mean, who's going to play next? Probably the same guy again. This is good. This is really good. So apparently, when I planned this episode, I'm like, you know, what's the stupidest thing I could do? Probably play chess with my eyes closed, but I've done that before. So the next best thing was play chess with your feet. But fortunately, I don't have feet. So I had to play left-handed. I thought this was going to be the worst episode in the world because... It's the same thing. I mean, your brain can operate with either hand, right? Not my brain. It actually makes it really exciting, so I'm really pleased. And this is the final game of the episode. We are playing against a guy who's named after a Japanese sandwich. Hello, you must use, you must you use your only hand of leftness, English. Okay, now, let's make sure he understands this. Drink some water. Mmm. You guys know what happens is happening next episode. Next episode on Tuesday at 4 p.m. GMT, we're going to live broadcast Crazy House Chess, where you can only drop your pieces on the other side of the board. That is the aggressive side, the enemy side. So that means no, like, defending by adding pieces. So it's going to be even more aggressive Crazy House than Crazy House, which is going to be pretty good. He says, I know, so let's get going with some Latvian Gambit. Just pre-move F5. You know it's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. Push that. Oh, oh, look at all my pre-moves. Pretty much perfect. D5. Oh, wow. Chess whiz. How do you come up with this stuff? A free bishop, and you haven't even used any time yet. There are only 30 seconds on the clock, so play faster and better. Check. And then royal fork. And then lose the knight, because he's going to sacrifice right there. Whoa, what fast chess you're playing, chess whiz. Take that now. And then castle just in time. Okay, is he going to play g4? Probably. No, he doesn't, but I can still take this and then kick back for an attack on the queen. Now I'm going to check him, which is pretty much the best thing to do in this variant, the left-handed variant. Now I'm going to take his queen, another great thing to do, double up the rooks, because I don't have anything better right now. Let's play this move. He's, he doesn't dare move anything right now. It's going to be checkmate coming up right up. i got to guard the g3 square, and that's going to be checkmate. Okay, knight here. No, I'm in check. Oh, it's, oh I could have taken that for free, too. What a blunder. Let's play, whoa. Whoa, guard the g3 square. You got the checkmate right here. G3, checkmate. No, he's escaping. H4, you gotta, you gotta get him. You gotta get him. Don't move the g-pod. Don't move it. Yes, checkmate. Checkmate. Yes. Oh, this is great. Too bad. It's the end of the episode. This has been Chess Whiz TV. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is so difficult because I'm trying to do it left-handed. Thanks for watching.